Welcome to Good Mythical Gamora. Let's look at some baby animals and then see if we can identify what they become. But first, let's donate $1,000 to the Los Angeles LGBT Center. You know we partnered with them for quite some time. And this fall, the Mythical Crew is participating in the LGBT Center's Big 5K in order to raise critically needed funds that will leave a lasting impact on the community. Our goal is to raise $10,000, so please, if you're able to, support Team Mythical and the Los Angeles LGBT Center by going to lalgbtcenter.org slash mythical. Mm. All right. Hey guys. Hey. You guys like uh, little tiny baby animals? I love yeah. little tiny baby animals. Zoo Babies was one of my favorite books growing up. Zoo Babies. Zoo Babies. You Are didn't you read Zoo Babies? Zoo Babies? Oh, I had, you know, I I got a, I had a subscription to you, Zoo so. Books. Zoo Books? Zoo Books. And then I think there were Zoo Babies associated with that. You guys ever see the uh, American Girl uh, book about puberty? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. I read it. I read it monthly. Yeah. Uh, we won't be looking at... Every 28 <laughs> I can't days. can't even make that joke. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you a photo of a baby animal, and then I'm going to give you a 3, 2, 1, and you're going to guess what the animal grew into, okay, what the glow-up was, if you will. I bet these are ugly babies. I mean, here's the first one. I will say there's like a tinge oh. of, could your dog bring this into the house uh, throughout this exercise? But I will give you a hint that no, uh, it would be very weird if your dog brought this into the house. So there's a pretty big tail back there. Oh yeah. Because uh, at first I was gonna say polar bear, just because it. Ha but that's I I'm gonna say polar bear for all of them for some reason. What is but what that? But what would have a tail that long? And the snout is not. I mean, this is something that needs its mom. Very badly for a uh, long time. I think I know what it is. This isn't something that just pops out and starts walking around. Okay. Three, two, one. Sloth. Mm. Rat? I, 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 uh, muskrat. No, surprisingly, you were kind of on the right path with the polar bear of it all. It's a long tailed is... polar, long -tailed polar bear. Wrong kind of bear. This is a type isn't of bear? It, isn't there something weird about it? Maybe Koala. Being, yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Nope, but yeah. you're not. Nope. <laughs> no, it's a panda. Yeah. Nope. It's, it's a, a panda. panda. Yeah. It's a panda bear. Pandas don't have tails. Well, maybe it's the kind of tail that goes away. Because, I mean, humans have a little tail. Pandas eat their own tails when they're babies? Yeah, that's why they feed them that, yeah. Humans have a little tail in the womb, you know, before it's like yeah, a yeah, a little vestige, a little vestigial action. Um, huh? They're when they're born, they're one nine hundredth the size of their mother, and they're born pink, blind, and hairless, which we obviously just saw. Yeah, yeah, there was a little bit of hair, pink, blind, a little and bit of hairless. blindness, pink, blind, and hairless. It sounds like a good bumper sticker. Yeah, good band name too. Bumper sticker. Let's take a look at this next one. Oh, uh, well, that right there, this one looks more obvious. Um, this is a, it's obviously I, a digging animal. I can't remember what it's called, though, but I know what it is. What is this thing called? It doesn't look like it has any ears. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, okay, I have all a right. guess. Yeah, all Three, right. Three, two, one. A ant mole. eater. It's an ant eater. Yes. See that thing gets oh, big, man. It's crazy because I I was look at that. And I was thinking ant eater, but then I was like, there's no ears. But look, an ant eater basically has just holes for ears. It doesn't really have lobes. No, those are those. There's a lobe. Up Go there. back to the baby. Yeah, but the of course the baby doesn't have much of anything. Babies. babies I would have thought developed. that it would just have very very small ears. And give me the ant eater now. How long you think a fully grown ant eater tongue is? Fully grown tongue. I'd say, I'd say five feet. I'd say, uh, or let's go with two feet. Yeah, it's two feet. Oh. That's I mean, the you held part. up two feet, it, Link, it, and then you said five feet. Well, that's that's two feet. I was like, that, and then I was like, bigger that's than that, five feet. feet. Um, I think there's three feet of tongue that stays inside that nobody knows about. It's called the extra tongue. 
You're right. I don't have the, the inner uh, tongue secret tongue information on my right sheet. So I am right. Um, I you know did I tell you about my blind mole story? Uh, no, no, but <laughs> we we were camping. where on your body was it? Yeah. <laughs> did you get it removed? We were camping and um and a and a little like mole and we were with Ringo and we were by like the fire pit and this mole came up and started like doing little circles and we realized like oh no this is like this is end of end of times situation this thing is blind walk towards a fire and a dog end of its time or all yeah. of our time this is a sign well, of the apocalypse well i mean isn't that the question we're asking ourselves every day but no and end of the mole's time and um and yeah cassie had to burn him get some <laughs> cook him right there on the fire soft meat really. yummy <laughs> had to get something and pick it up and like go take it to uh, you know a, a ravine that was like 20 feet away but when she did that you would think that it would scurry its way but no it just continued to do little circles in the oh. ravine well this wait what sad. you need to do is you need to dig a hole and just shove it down in the hole a little bit and it'll it'll go okay next time no because it's a mole right yeah it's what it's yeah, trying they don't, they don't, to are looking for the, the hole well what we looking did was we went hole. inside. Yeah, you just stop thinking about it until right now. He's yeah. probably still out there going in circles. How Spread about this flour baby? all over it and look for the wet spot. What? It's like finding a hole in a tire. Yeah. I know what that is. Ooh, that's quite an angle on that thing. <laughs> is that the anus? That's it does big. appear to be the anus. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, my facts say nothing about the anus. I think the, the anus is 900 times the size of a normal <laughs> anus. <laughs> it, it's like human eyes. They come out full grown. They grow into their anus. They grow into their anus. <laughs> I know what this is. Three, two, one. Armandella. Pangolin. What, Link? A pangolin. It's That's a good armadillo. guess. It's a good guess. It's similar to the... Is the pangolin a marsupial armadillo? I don't have facts about the pangolin, but this is an armadillo. Oh. Armadilla. Man, what an amazing Armadillo. Thing. If you could have armor like that, would you take it? What do you think armadillo translates into? It's a, it's Spanish. So it would be armadillo, but Um armadillo. it is armed. Uh, it is dildo. Pa padded padded tank. What? It's, uh protected tank. What's a dio? Oh, I thought you said taint. Tank. So I would say it's protected armed. Protected tank too. Dio. It's a Dio. It's a militarized yeah. rock. Armed? Little armored one is what it is. Little oh. armored one. Little armored one. I yeah. just love them. You see, you, apparently if you live in certain parts of Texas, you, you grow to hate them. I've heard that. Now, you were born down in Texas. Mm-hmm. Did, uh, did your family have tales of armadillos? Like being... My dad was like, I knew a guy. Gather around, children. And he'd go back out oh. in his backyard, and there'd be like 50 in his backyard. At night. I thought you meant their literal tails, and I was confused. Yeah, your dad, people collect your dad tails. wears that armadillo <laughs> bell <laughs> necklace. This is all the ones I've run over. Every armadillo, I draped a tail on my belt buckle. Every time. Uh... I have not heard an armadillo. I did hear that they are like everywhere, so it's a big like roadkill item situation. Um, you would think with that armor, it wouldn't matter. But speed bump. Yeah. Everybody wins. They I've heard they didn't evolve uh, with cars in mind. Scorpion tails and tarantula tails, but I, I have not heard any um, armadillo tails. Tarantula tails. Tails. Tarantula, tarantula tails. Yeah. Oh. What about this guy? Ooh. That looks like a Thundercat. <laughs> Look, at <those. laughs> Look at those veins. In, in, in episode one, they were all naked, as I've told you. Oh, yeah. This thing is awesome. That cheetah woman was completely naked, and she winks at you. She winked at me, at least, when I watched it. And then she put on clothes later on. This is, this is tricky because that snout looks like a cat. But the eyes, it's, it's not, it, the ears, it's not a cat. Oh my gosh, I have some actual good butt stuff to tell you about this thing. It looks like a, vamp a vampire of some kind. Oh my gosh. One. It looks like a pig and a rat. A they shaved poop pig rat. In cubes, which apparently stops that, the poop. Is that from, weird or something? From rolling 
off their marked territory of rocks or trees. And also, that's cool. Their butt is their main form of defense. When a predator is near, these big booty mammals dive down their burrows and block off the entrance with their butts. As their booties mainly consist of cartilage, they're very resistant to scratches and bites. What is this thing? A cartilage booty that poops out poops cubes? cubes? A cube pooper. What in the world? And it burrows. No, it's in the trees. But it burrows and sticks his booty out. I don't feel like... We're going to get I, this. I, I feel like this animal is in Australia or New Zealand, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, and, oh, I know what it is. I know, I, I remember. My the son cube, got bit by one. cube poops. Wombat. Oh, it's a wombat. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, uh, what? Locke uh, stuck his finger into a wombat cage and got bit. He stuck yeah. his finger right bes- into the cage beside a sign that said, do not stick <laughs> fingers in cage. I was I mean, there. usually if there's a cage involved, they don't want you to, you know. Go well, through it, the cage. But it went up and bit his finger off, and you don't necessarily think that's going to happen. Well, he could have bit his finger yeah, off, but he pulled it out quick enough. So let's see it. Is it? Yes. Yeah, they're so cute. Talk adults. about a transformation. Yeah, you think you're going to feed that thing, and then it just eats your finger. I don't know why I wasn't picturing a wombat to look like this. I That is a cute, cube po- pooping mammal. Yeah. And I remember the cubed poops. Can we see a picture of the cubed poop? We'll work on Wombat on that. But in the meantime, what about this little cutie? Oh, he's sleepy. He's a sleepy little thing. I know what this is. I can tell by the shape of the head. Three, two, one. Squirrel. An otter. <laughs> it's a squirrel. Oh. Oh, yeah, a squirrel because of the tail. Hmm. Look at that wombat poop. It looks like a piece of charcoal. How do you get it to be... Man, could you think we could do that? I think I could concentrate hard enough and maybe get one out. Right. You, you to, give me enough time and give me the right consistency of fiber? Just squeeze at the right time. Be like, you know? turn me to, oh, turn me on my left. Turn me on, turn my, me right. on my right. Turn me on my right. Little squeeze, little Put squeeze. Put me on my back. Put me on my stomach. Put me on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I'll put a cube in there. Quick reminder, Good Mythical Evening is coming up. So grab tickets while you can. It's going to be a live ticketed event for mature audiences only. So are you ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for us to be no holes barred adults? Well, get your ticket for Good Mythical Evening. It's going down on October 28th. We're going to be pooping cubes all night. GoodMythicalEvening.com. Okay, I'm going to skip down. Whew, she's going to skip one. Down. I'm going to skip one. All right. To the down. You know what I'm saying? Twinkie mm-hmm. fingers? Uh, yeah. Twinksy fingers. To the last one. Because I'm like, what? About this last one. So it's a translucent. Is this some sort of? It's a ping pong ball that got stuck in a. This is an embryo. This could be one of us. I doubt you ever looked like that. Oh, I mean, this could be anything. Any hints here? It's a water creature. Yes. Amphibian. Amphibian? Yes. I, not this particular kind, but this would be something that if one lived in North Carolina and there was a creek nearby, you might want to catch these things to play with them. In this form? No. No. Catch them and play with them. Okay. Salamander? Yeah. Oh. But it's a Chinese giant salamander. What the snack? Good gosh. It's got a button for an eye. Have you not seen how big these are? Oh, my gosh. Do you know how long that thing is, right? Is that thing laying on a blanket, or is that still part of it? How long do you think that is? I don't know. I don't have any point of reference. Guess. Five foot. Try again. (laughs) How long is a giant salamander? Six feet? Six feet, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. It looks like... It looks like... Walking on, you can walk on a rock. Good gosh. That thing didn't evolve like with beauty in mind. That eye is 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 not very functional. It can't be. It doesn't need to be. I mean, is that more of it underneath? Yeah. All that like floppy skin. I mean, I shouldn't be one to talk, but. 
It's <laughs> like if they killed Grimace and then you found him a few months later buried like in underwater. And that's what would happen to Grimace. Slightly decayed, deflated Grimace. Gosh, button-eyed Grimace has been found, everybody. He's dead. Tickets on sale now for Good Mythical Evening, the live Mature Audiences Only event happening on October 28th. Get yours at goodmythicalevening.com.